Hey there everybody. Uh, I actually wanted to post this video for my friends Terry and John who have been putting up with me for the past week tinkering with this uh, West Side Shea number no. 8. It's a old West Side brass import, one of the earlier versions. It's got this bizarre drive system in it with a kind of a vertical kingpin helical gear weirdness. Um, but I got it really cheap because it didn't run and I had to completely disassemble the uh, Namiki gear motor drive that you can see here. The thing looks like a battery. Um, there's a gear head on one end and a motor on the other and the uh, fundamental problem with these motors is they uh, the lubricant dries out. It's kind of this, it turns into this kind of waxy mess, and the motors squeal like crazy. Other than that, it had all sorts of gear binds and other problems. Um, and as I discovered, it's a lot of work to actually get one of these to run well. So that said, let's go ahead and just send it down the track a little bit here. Um, this is running much better than it did when it came out of the box, which is to say it didn't run at all. <laughs> Alright, so, one of the fundamental problems is, because of this drive, you can see this carden shaft uh, that's being driven by a bull gear. That's driven off of a spur gear, which comes off of a pair of helical gears, which goes through the gear head. Um, and it's driven by a spur gear in the motor. It's so bizarre. Um, and then there's another set of helical gears in the truck that transmit power from the vertical shaft to the wheels. Um, I mean, this is a total Rube Goldberg. This thing is insane. But uh, one of the fundamental problems is that vertical shaft tries to twist the truck. So uh, it's a torque reaction. And basically the truck wants to twist, you know, whichever direction the shaft is going. And that causes a number of problems, including the truck trying to twist. Um, and when it's approaching a, a switch points or something, it'll try to pick up and lift and derail. So this is kind of the classic problem with this era of West Side Shays. Um, there is a way to fix it. And I'm going to pull this off really quick. And... Flip it over here and show you what's going on. So, um, what I've done, and admittedly I stole this off the internet, I found somebody who uh, had a solution for this, is this is actually soldered to the gearbox on the truck, and so this is actually a torque control bar, um, and then there's this loop that I added to the drawbar on the tender. And that arrests not all, but most of the torque reaction um, that you experience there. And it, it really helps dramatically in terms of eliminating the derailment problem. Um, the screw here, I actually had to machine, so this was turned on my little 11 lathe. And the reason is so this is the screw that came out of it. Um, that runs into the little torque arresting arm that I put in here. Um, and I gotta tell you, trying to solder that to the gearbox there, even with a um, resistant soldering kit, a resistant soldering outfit, not a whole lot of fun. So anyway, um, hopefully later tonight, I'll finish putting the body back on it. There's, uh, there's also a couple of stripped screw holes in this thing that I'm going to have to figure out how to repair or just put in some larger screws. But um, really in decent shape. There's a little bit of corrosion. I'm going to very gently put this thing through a media blaster and just clean all that off. And this thing will be as good as new. So, yeah. Should be a pretty good project this weekend. I'm hoping to have it all back together. Um, stay tuned. I've got a whole lot of other Westside Brass model rescues, um, including a 
K37 that was in just absolutely deplorable condition that got a whole new drivetrain and um, a C25 that I put a massive Namiki motor and flywheel in and man you've never seen a Westside C25 run like this thing it's pretty cool. Uh, future project is going to be this pile of parts that I picked up off of eBay as well so this will be another future rescue I'm going to play with. I was lucky enough to find a pair of brand new trucks uh, to slap on this thing. As you can see, the original trucks are um, kind of a mess, and there's not a whole lot to work with. The guy did some really weird things with a Dremel and a file and made a lot of junk parts. But um, this one's also going to be a remoter. I'm, I'm actually considering just gutting the entire drive system. It's terrible. Um, I think a, a modern gear motor and probably just a uh, spur gear uh, box down to the center drive shaft is going to sort this thing out. We'll get it to run a nice 20 miles an hour and um, be a whole lot more reliable. So, anyway, uh, like I said, check back in. I should have this back together next week and i um, pretty excited about my eBay bargain. See y'all later.